Hi everybody, this is Lean. I'm talking about Marissa Alexander. Uh, she is a woman who tried to invoke the Stand Your Ground um, law in Florida when she fired a warning shot at her abusive ex-husband who had intruded into her home and assaulted her and prevented her from leaving. Um, and then um, she's recently been released from um, oversight by the criminal justice system. She had done time for um, what that what occurred when she tried to defend herself. Um, and then she was released um, to um, home home confinement. And so she was recently taken off the bracelet. And so the ankle bracelet, and that's why she's back in the news again. But just to put that in perspective, um, Marissa Alexander um, had, in July 2010, she gave birth to a baby girl. The previous year, she had separated from her um, then-husband, Rico Gray, and obtained a, a restraining order against him because he had been violent towards her on more than one occasion. But after um, her pregnancy, she amended the order to remove the man on contact, though they still lived in separate houses. And so right after the baby was born, um, Gray was in um, Alexander's house and attacked her. She says that he assaulted her, shoved her, strangled her, and held her against her will, prevented her from fleeing the house, uh, even while she begged for him to leave. And so she tried to escape through the garage um, and drive off, but she forgot the keys to her truck. And the garage door um, opener apparently didn't work, so she couldn't leave that way. And so she re-entered the house with a legally registered weapon, her gun, and tried to find another way out. And so when Gray charged at her, she fired a warning shot. He called the police on her, um, and then she was arrested um, and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. And so she that's when she tried to argue self-defense under Florida Stand Your Ground law. But the pretrial judge ruled that she could have left her own home uh, through the front or back doors. Um, despite the fact that there have been many testimonies from people in the community who knew Gray and that he was violent, they could testify that he was violent, even members of his own family, um, you know, several witnesses. Um, the judge still instructed the jury that uh, she, that Alexander had to prove that beyond a reasonable doubt, that Greg was committing aggravated battery when she fired. And so after 12 minutes, um, the jury said, you know, she was guilty um, of assault, felony assault with a deadly weapon. And then the prosecutor, um, who was also a woman, decided to use the enhancement of a 20-year um, sentence added on to um, the the sentence that she already received and so that's what her her um, encounter her attempt to use the stand your ground defense in Florida it resulted in her being sentenced on felony charges um with an enhanced sentence and then but three months before she was sentenced uh, the Stand Your Ground law was interpreted very differently uh, for George Zimmerman. Um, he shot and killed Trayvon Martin, 17-year-old unarmed black teenager who was walking away. And then um, he, Zimmerman, invoked the Stand Your Ground um, law as a defense. And that time, the judge instructed the jury that Zimmerman had no duty to retreat, that, and so he was fully acquitted. And so these were two different interpretations of law. And so the comparison between these two episodes uh, 
gained national attention. Um, it was a symbol for how domestic violence survivors, specifically women of color, are criminalized when they try to defend themselves. And there are a large number of women in our prison system today who are there for similar reasons that they try to defend themselves in a domestic abuse situation and were criminalized for it, um, charged with felonies if they used a weapon or there were other circumstances, and then they have that on their record. And so, um, you know, she had young children. She, that was uh, Alexander, she was separated from her children, separated from her, you know, mothers and sisters and her family and her friends. And um, now she has that mark on her record where she's trying to find employment and finding it difficult. And in Florida, um, at the moment, I don't believe she'll be able to um, vote. Uh, and so there were repercussions, um, severe repercussions for her trying to defend herself. I'm going to go ahead and post a link in the description so people can see more of how a same law can be applied different ways depending on who the players are. Good luck.